but I mean, take a look at I mean the things that he's looking at. I mean, his APM is fantastic. Let's go take a look at APM real quick. So you can see his he's averaging 130, 140 almost, and uh, you know not, not that CBE is terribly far behind, and he's definitely peaking at that level. So very very good there. We do have this hallucinated phoenix trying to gather a little bit more information. He it does see that the creep spreading is coming towards his base, so he may be looking for a timing attack, trying to prepare for that. Um, we do have, let's take a look at the next tab. We've got 10 roaches in the field and 15 zerglings. He does have the three queens, two of which seem to be dedicated to injecting that larva, which is always what we want to see. And we do have an expansion going down for CVE right now, taking his third base, uh, just completing. But... SH Spirit looking like he might want to move out here with this force and, and if you take a look at the units tab he definitely is a little bit ahead I'd say at this point he does have 16 stalkers on the field and 7 sentries and depending on his um, his uh, force field placement and his micro skills he should be in pretty decent shape to do some serious damage to his third opponent right now and he is going to be putting up a proxy pylon so I'd say definitely he's going to commit to an attack here he's moving right up to this base and it looks like he'll probably be in a decent position to take this completely out. So a pretty substantial loss there by CVD, not in a good position to defend that. And as you can see, SH Spirit is streaming some more units here. Backing out of there before those little broodlings are going to be able to do too much damage to his units. And meeting up with his reinforcing stalkers, and it looks like he may be in, uh, interested in moving in to his opponent's base at this point. But his opponent does have 17 roaches up. But here comes the attack, I'd say. Look at this. And these roaches, the burrow is finish, finished. Looks like he might try and catch his, his opponent by surprise, get a flank on it. And he is going to be doing that. And these hydras trying to get on the action there. And the hydras are super effective at, at, at taking out all of those gateway units, utilizing that burrow there to get those roaches out of harm's way. Let's take a look at the unit's loss tab. Um, a very even exchange so far, so CVE holding his own against this master player, SH Spirit. What fun play we're seeing right now. And we do have a, a he did expand behind that, um, but that was scouted there with this Zergling. And he did have a Stalker there to take it out, but it definitely was scouted. We'll see if CVE is going to try and counter that, because um, he does not want to be down a base to his Protoss opponent, especially when his Protoss opponent is SH Spirit. Um, we, I do like to see his, this roach, I mean, uh, Hydra play. Hydra roaches can be very, very, very effective against a Protoss army. Those roaches, or Hydras rather, do quite a bit of damage to every single gateway unit, and that is pretty much all we have right now for SH Spirit. Now, he is kind of boosting out weapons level 3 at this point, so he's been very effective, you know, very good at keeping those up upgrades going, and ground armor level 3, so... His army is actually very, very scary. He does have a robotics bay. Looks like he'll probably be getting out some Colossus now. And he is taking control of this map. I mean, he's keeping his army out here in the center of the map. He is not afraid of his opponent moving out right now. Uh, and CVE is take, trying to take this expansion again. He needs to get that up and running. He's going to start falling behind very quickly in the economy. And you can see that he's now starting to fall behind in the supply count, which is never a position you want to be in as a Zerg player. And now we're just sniping creep tumors, trying to keep that creep spread as low as possible. And now that was spotted, those burrowed roaches were spotted by that observer, but this is pretty decent army size for CVE, and those hydras are going to be very, very effective, especially when we don't have any Colossus on the field yet. Let's take a look and see what we've got. We do have extended thermal lance, so we're definitely going to see those Colossus. There's one headed out to the main army right now. And SH Spirit, I'd say, definitely ahead in this matchup right now. Oh, and CB almost got the snipe on that. Trying to figure out if he could snipe that pylon or not. Oh, look at this. Some of SH Spirit's units getting out of position. He does get rid of that pylon. Oh, but some of his own units are going to be trapped there. No, oh, well, one of them didn't get away, but the rest of them did, so... Very good control there by CVE. He is definitely still a player in this matchup. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, units tab and see where he is in the drone count. He's still quite a bit behind. He's 22 harvesters behind his opponent. So he's definitely going to be working on trying to get that back up. 
And looks like SH Spirit doing just a little bit of lag here. Hopefully he does not drop. We sure would hate that, especially when he... I mean, really, when it comes down to it, he is ahead in this matchup right now. So uh, keeping his unit on two bases, just barely getting up to a third base. Oh, wow. Thank goodness he stayed in that matchup. So SH Spirit, though, definitely behind in the supply count now. And CVE producing a lot of... Let's take a look. Well, hold on just a second. We'll see exactly what he is producing. <laughs> I almost got the production tab open. Please do not drop SH Spirit. Please do not drop. We need our masters around. What would we do without him? There we go. And he is producing a lot of roaches. That is 21 roaches. So he is going to be going for mass roach, mass hydra against his opponent, which is not a bad choice at this point. Um, those Colossus, if the Colossus are focusing on taking out those Hydras, then SH Spirit will definitely be um, in pretty good shape. Those Hydras do take a lot of extra damage from those uh, from those Colossus. The Colossus are super effective at that. But, uh, I mean, with this amount of Roaches, if those Colossus are busy trying to take out these Roaches, which are a relatively robust unit, you know, then be, he could potentially be in a lot of trouble and see really massing up an army here. It looks as though he might be ready to push out here fairly soon. There's only one Colossus in this army, but uh, SH Spirit is looks like he's very serious about taking another expansion. They're probably going to be this old right here. But at the same time, CVE notices what's going on. He is going to be moving out here right now. It looks like he's serious about engaging this army right away. He's done, bro. These, they are being spotted. And got to get these Hydras in the fight or he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh, and the Hydras get force fielded out of this battle. This is not going well for CBE. And you can see his supply count just dwindling. And that means his army is disappearing very quickly. He's just lacking in a little bit of the upgrades. He's definitely going to have to back out here. We do have maxed up, maxed. Um, upgrades except for the plasma shield. We do have plus one plasma already on the pump, already done. And let's see. He doesn't have number two on the way yet, but he's killing off CBE's reinforcements to his main army. Never a good situation to be in. And this third army looking like it is a lot of trouble. We've got so many units behind these forces scrambling around trying to figure out how to attack. And SH Spirit doing a lot of damage. Now CBE down to 63, which is pretty much his drone count. And there's the GG. Wow. Just got out of position uh, there at that exchange there in the middle, and it just did it in for CBE. And very, very good control. Very good upgrades for SH Spirit. Thank you, gentlemen, for playing. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.